Alrighty, hello guys and welcome to another deck video. This time I'm going to be doing the Blue Eyes deck that uh, Ryan created and then I used more cards to tweak and edit. And I want to start out with the um, extra deck. So as you can see, the first there this has all of them. Fusion, Synchros, and Xyz is us. And uh, I want to start out with the extra deck because there's a lot of very, very good cards in here. Starting off with Five-Headed Dragon. I mean, enough said. Five-Headed Dragon. And Blue Eyes Ultimate because it wouldn't be a Blue Eyes deck without the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And also, tw Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. If you don't know what this does, it requires contact fusing two Blue Eyes White Dragons. And uh, it can attack twice per turn. It can attack two monsters uh, per turn. And at the end of the damage step, when the when it attacks an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed, like Marshmallow or any other not destroyed by battles, it is banished. So it's kind of like just a Alice Cataster, except for it's banished. So twin blue eyes twin burst dragon is fairly good and honestly not that too not too difficult to get out. Uh, next one is Trident Dragon, which I've yet to summon in this in dueling with this deck. But it is a beast of a synchro dragon. It requires a dragon tuner and one or more non-dragon type monsters. Or one or more non-tuner dragon type monsters. And uh, must be synchro summoned, can't be summoned any other ways. And when it is synchro summoned, I can target two other cards that I control and destroy those targets. And if I do, destroy. And if you do, for each card I destroy, I gain an additional attack for each battle phase this turn. So I mean that can get up to like that can get up to three attacks in a turn. So that that when it's summoned. Three thousand attack, that is definitely not bad, but I've got to summon it like I said. And another blue eyes card going with blue eyes or Azul Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. Ooh, it's rainbow in the light. Ooh, that looks really cool. In the camera. Um twenty five hundred attack, three thousand defense and when it's special summon, or you need a tuner and non tuner and non tuner normal monster, and uh, it cannot be destroyed by card effects uh, when I special summon it. Well, when this card is special summon, dragon type monsters currently control cannot be destroyed by card effects until the end of the turn. And once per turn, during the standby phase, I can normal summon one monster in my grave. Target one normal summon in my graveyard. Yeah, normal monster in my graveyard and special summon it. Easily getting more blue eyes out. Next one is another blue eyes card, the blue eyes spirit dragon. It's gonna need a tuner and a non-tuner blue eyes monster. And it looks majestic. Uh, but this me, but when you neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time, and once per turn during either player's turn, when an effect card from the in the graveyard is activated I can negate the activation and during either player's turn I contribute this sync this synchro card summoned card special summoned one light dragon synchro monster from my extra deck in defense position except blow eye spirit dragon but destroy it during the end phase so I can get another light dragon type monster by tributing him definitely not too bad we got stardust up next I mean enough said for stardust and I also have Exploder Dragon in here, which is also not bad at all. And uh, yeah, enough said with Exploder Dragon. But I mean, if you don't know what it is, <coughs> at the start of the damage step, when this card battles a monster, you can destroy that monster. And if I do inflict damage equal to the in equal to the attack of the opponent's monster, and and if this card. Ha this but the attack must be greater or equal to the attack of the attacking monster resolve the effects are so pretty much I can attack it and then destroy it and then have you take damage equal to the attack of it and uh, yeah that helps so you don't clash pretty much next we got bleh, focus Kim red and black rose dragon majestic enough said just I just ally of justice catastrophe I mean, enough said for him, too. And then we're getting into the 
Xyz is. The first Xyz is number 7 Galaxy Eyes Trident Dragon Unity 2 level 8 monsters. And during the battle phase, or once per turn, at the start of the battle phase, I can detach an Xyz material. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field. Also, their attacks and defense become become their original attack and defense. And uh, if I do this during the battle phase, each time an opponent's card effect is resolved, this card gains 1,000 attack until the end of the battle phase. Also, you can make it a second turn, second attack during that turn. So he is definitely not bad at all. Next one I got in here is Her Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord. Enough said. Once per turn, ooh, get real close. Once per turn, you can detach the next disease material from this card and tribute any number of monsters from your hand and or side of the field. Minimum one to destroy. Two cards equal in the field with 3,000 attack. Totally not bad at all. The next one is Thunder and Dragon. Kind of going along with the blue eyes. Is, um... And I can detach an X disease material, destroy all other monsters on the field. So if he's just the only one on the field, I, I can detach cards. And bada bing, bada boom, you're gone. By the way, he need, he only uses lo he, yeah, level 8 normal monsters, so blue eyes. Is. Next one is number 50, Black Ship of Corn. I mean, enough said. If you don't know what it is, once per turn, you can detach an X disease material from this card. And a target one face up monster my opponent controls with the attack lesser equal to this cards and sends it to the graveyard and inflict a thousand damage to the opponent and bada bing bada boom. Not bad. The last one is number 101 Silent Horned Arc. And uh, I can detach two from this card to special summon on a special summon. Targeting special summon monster my opponent controls in face-up attack position attach This card to as a face-up exes material You can only use the effective number one of the level once per turn if this face-up attack will be destroyed You can detach next these material from this card instead So I mean you can get a good card Off the field and attach it to him as an exes material and then destroy it if he would be destroyed instead So I mean he's not bad So that does it for the extra deck Bada bing, bada boom. Also, the sleeves are on all these are majestic. Come on, focus camera. There you go. They look amazing. All right. So next, we're gonna go with the normal monsters, which obviously consist of the blue eyes white dragon times three. Bada bing, bada boom. They're them in all of their glory. And then we also have Alexanderite Dragon, which is a very good normal monster, level 4 with 2,000 attack. Freaking legendary right there. Now we're getting into the the, the effect monsters, so uh, here we go. I don't think I'm going to read these, though, because that took a while. So here is the Dragon Spirit of the White, majestic looking, and uh, here is its effect. And it's also it's treated as a blue eyes card, which is very good with 2,500 attack, and it's treated as a normal monster as well. And I could target, spell a trap card my opponent controls and banish it. And during either player's turn, if, if your opponent controls a monster, you contribute this card to special summon one blue eyes white dragon from my hand, which is very good. Now the next one is the. Uh, I'm gonna do this in a different order than I originally planned. Alrighty, so. These are called White Stone of the Ancients. They are very, very nice looking and pretty much, um, pretty much once during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, I can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon or one Blue Eyes Monster from my deck and I can banish this card from my graveyard to target one Blue Eyes Monster in the graveyard and add it to my hand. Pretty much it is like a white stone of legend, except for I can special summon it and remove it from the graveyard from play to get a blue eyes in the graveyard back to my hand, which, you know, is is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So those are in the deck. The next two I have are Delta Flyers, which I'm thinking about taking out because I already have a lot of other tuners. Also, these babies are tuners as well. 
I right, think about taking the Delta Flyers out. Tell me guys what you guys think after you see the rest of the deck if I should take the Delta Flyers out and what I should replace them with. But uh, Delta Flyer, bada bing, bada boom. Enough said. Tuner. Target. I can mess around with levels once per turn. I also, I just, I really like the way Delta Flyer looks though. He just looks really cool. So, uh, yeah. That's those. Now we're getting some of the big dragons. Like Light Pulsar Dragon. He's a big boy. And uh, pretty much that's his effect. I can special summon this card by banishing a light in the dark. And I can special summon this card by sending a light in the dark from from my hand to the graveyard. When this card is sent for the field to the graveyard, you can target one level five higher dark dragon type monster from my graveyard and special summon that target. Light Pulsar Dragon is good for getting back red eyes, darkness, Metal Dragon. I mean, enough said. You guys know what Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon does, probably, hopefully. So uh, there's him and all his glory, and you can use Light Pulsar to get back him if he's in the graveyard. Next one I have in the deck is Light and Darkness Dragon. This is also a fairly well known card, so I don't really read it. I won't really read it. But if you need to, pause the video. There's the effect right there. And uh, yeah, he looks freaking majestic as well. Alright, the next one we're going to get into is pretty much all of the blue cars. The new stuff that came out along with the new bl blue eyes synchros and everything is these cards. So, uh, the protector of the blue, the protector with the eyes of blue, he is, all of these guys are tuners. And when this card is normal summon, I can special summon one level one light tuner monster from my hand. And I can target one effect monster. That I control and send it to the graveyard, and if I do, special summon one blue eyes monster from my hand. You can only use this effect once per turn, and pretty much all of the guys I'm about to show you are level one lights. So when I summon him, I can summon an summon another protector of the blue, or another one of the blue cards. Next one is Master with the eyes of blue. He is also level one light, as I showed you guys before. He is a tuner. And when this card is normal summoned, I can target one light tuner monster in my graveyard, add it to my hand, and then shuffle this card into from the graveyard into the deck, and then target one effect monster that I control and send it to the graveyard. And if I do, special summon one blue eyes monster from my graveyard other than the sent monster, and I can only use the effect of the master of the eyes of blues once per turns. Next one is I have three main blues. Beautiful. Look at them. They're all shiny too. And uh, yeah, she has zero attack, zero defense, but she has one heck of an effect. Uh, pretty much, if it's targeted for attack, negate it. And if I do change the battle position of the card and special summon a blue eyes white dragon from deck, uh, hand deck or graveyard. And during either player's turn, when this when a card or effect is activated that targets this face up card. I can special summon one blue eyes white dragon from my hand deck or graveyard. You can only use his her attack or her effect once per turn. It's pretty much if you do anything to her, she gonna bring out a blue eyes on you. Which is majestic. That looks really weird though. So like with the light, the way that the light I'm looking at it right now, she looks blue and her hair is purple. It looks really great. But um uh yeah, that's pre that's pretty neat. The next one is the sage with the eyes of blue, which you know there, this guy's also fairly decent. Again, another light one star tuner. And when this card is normal summoned, you can add one level one light tuner monster from my deck to my hand, except for him. And I can discard this card to target one effect monster that I control and send it to the graveyard. And if I do, special summon one blue eyes monster from my deck. And only use it once per turn. So I can pretty much, um, pretty, when he's summoned, I can, like, when you summon, I can add another one of the level, the one of the blue monsters to my hand. And also, I can discard it and target one effect monster I control. Pretty much tribute an effect monster, send, discard him, especially someone with blue eyes card. So that, so that is pretty good, and that is all of the effect monsters. Let's move on to <gasps> the spell cards. The first one is Beacon of White, which is very, very good. I believe it's also one of the newer cards. I mean, it looks freaking cool. Um, and I, if I do not control another Beacon of the White, and I have three or more Blue Ice cards in my graveyard, target one of them, special summon it, but its effect is negato, negated, also equip it with this card. 
When I leave the field, banish, banish the equipped monsters. All other monsters I control cannot attack. Also, if you have any number of blue eyes monsters in your graveyard, um, in the graveyard, the equipped monster can attack up to that many number of times. So that that is pretty good. Bring back a blue eyes monster, pretty much blue eyes by dragon. It doesn't have any effects to be negated. And all of the monsters cannot attack, but if I have more blue eyes cards in my graveyard, I can just attack a bunch of times with the blue eyes. But if it but if this card leaves the field, it's banished, which is a kind of kind of upsetting thing. Uh, next one is three mystical space typhoon. I mean I don't really have to explain these guys, right? Like mystical space typhoon, three of them. Next one, excuse me, is pot of duality times two. Again, don't really need to uh, say anything about these guys. The only issue with these guys, though, is after you use them, I can't special summon, so I have to be careful when I use it. Use it so I, so I know I, so I can special summon hopefully soon. So if I'm not going to special summon anyway, just use it. But uh, that's the only issue with those guys in this deck because there is a lot in the extra deck, and there's a lot of special summoning with like uh, red eyes, metal dragon, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the next one I got is a trade in times two, and uh, that is a level eight monster to the graveyard, drawing two cards. Not too shabby. And I'm just gonna let my cat out of my room because he's trying to get out. Like, look at him. Rooster, you wanna get out? You wanna get out? All right, All right, so the on. cat is gone because uh, he wanted to get out. <laughs> All right, so the next one I have is two. Yeah, two silver cry. They are quick play spells. Keep in mind. Pretty much target one normal dragon type monster in the graveyard, special summon it. I can special summon any normal dragon I want. Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> Two of them, but I can only use one of them per turn. I mean, they're pretty simple, but I mean, they get back a blue eyes. Next one is Dragon's Mirror. Again, I don't really have to explain this. Enough said. If you need to, there is the effect. I mean, blue. Dragon's Mirror. Next one is Soul Charge. I don't know how common this one is to use, so I'll just read this one off. This is the first time I heard of it when Ryan gave me the deck to mess with. Uh, target any number of monsters in the graveyard, special summon them, and if I do, I lose a thousand life points for each monster special summoned by this effect, and I cannot conduct my battle phase, only activate one of these babies per turn. You lose life points, but you get monsters back. I mean, pretty pretty simple idea, but it's a thousand life points, which is pretty costly, but I mean, I can get back a whole bunch of big monsters from those three piles. Uh, effect monsters and everything but uh i mean only using one of them towards the end of the game not too shabby next one is a field spell this is a normal this is a normal spell by the way the next one is a field spell the mausoleum of the white bada bing bada boom look at that mm, delicious and this thing is quite lengthy as well once during my main during my main phase like and i can normal summon one Level light tuner, one level one light tuner monster in addition to the normal summoner set. Pretty much I can special summon one of the blue monsters with ease now. And once per turn, I can target one face up monster I control. Send one normal monster from my hand deck or graveyard. And normal monster from your hand deck or graveyard. And if I do, target, target monster gains the attack and defense equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard times 100 until the end of turn, even if this card leaves the battlefield. You can banish this card from my graveyard to add one tw twin or er, burst stream of destruction from my deck to my hand, and I don't really have any of those, so that last part isn't really helpful. But I can normal summon extra, and I can gave, have cards gain attacks. Not shabby. Not too shabby. So that's it for the spells, and now we're going to move on to the trap. So, first one is to Call of the Haunted. I mean, to be totally honest, enough said. Call of the Haunted. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Next one is a Mirror Force. I mean, again, enough said. Boom, gold trim, Mirror Force. Beautiful. Next one is Starlight Road. Again, I don't really think I need to explain this one, but I will anyway. There it is. Pretty much if it destroys more than two cards, negate the effect, destroy the card, and special summon a Stardust Dragon. That is a Dark Hole Stopper. That is a Heavy Storm Stopper, even though that's banned. That is a, that is a lot of things stopper. Solemn Warning. 
pay 2,000 to gate the summon. Everyone knows Solemn Morning, hopefully. Again, Bottomless Trap Hole. Everyone should know Bottomless Trap Hole. 1,500 or more. Going to be banished when it's summoned. Fiendish Chain, again, fairly common, I suppose. But uh, activate the card uh, targeting... Activate this card by targeting an effect monster on the field. Its effect is negated. Also, it cannot attack, and when it is destroyed, destroy this card. So, uh, yeah. So that is the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And then make sure you do everything the link down, or make sure you check out all the links in the description which is all the social medias and whatnot. Check us out on there. And, uh, yeah. Michael from Seams of Gamers signing off. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Stack. Wait. Stop. 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 You stack? Stack. Stack my deck right. Come on. They really gave me a scare. Yeah, are you not crushed? I'm done. I can't do anything more than I'm gonna let you go. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.